Oh my goodness, I don't know about you, but my Dollar Tree has so much fall stuff. So many different things that you can use for your decorating this year, but I thought I would bring to you something a little bit different and a fall decor piece using something from Dollar Tree that you really wouldn't think would be something for fall decorating. It all just goes away and things are planned to say. Oh baby. So I am going to start with this Dollar Tree sign. Welcome. I guess it's every bunny, but I'm removing all of the excess stuff from the sign, especially the little cottontails, but I will be saving those for another project. And then I found this printable online. It says fall, sweet fall. I printed that out on some heavy cardstock paper, but the sign was a little bit large for my regular sheet of paper. So I did take it into the garage and cut it down to size. Then I brought it back in and put Mod Podge all over the back of this sign. Next, I took my printable and secured it to the sign. So this is going to give it that hard backing, I guess. And I just made sure to secure the paper to the sign. Then I came back with Mod Podge and did a coat of it on top of the paper as well. And I was trying to get some texture onto the paper so that it looked like something you would find in a more high-end store. So it did have a little bit of texture, but I came back with this brush from Dollar Tree. The bristles are really, really stiff, and I used a little bit more Mod Podge, and I just kind of dabbed it and worked it around the paper, especially on the words, to really give extra texture. And I think you can see that the texture is really starting to show up a lot better now with the second coat of Mod Podge. But once I was done, I wanted to frame my signs. So I did start by putting on some little pieces of wood, but I really wanted to make a large frame for the sign. So I took these Hot Wheels tracks because I thought they would make a really pretty like frame. And what I did was I just used my scissors to cut down the sides of it kind of at a 45 degree angle or as close as I could make it happen with my scissors. I did this with four pieces of the Hot Wheel tracks and I just cut them down so that they would match around the edges for my frame. Now I did try to leave a little bit of extra space just in case I needed to come back and cut because I didn't have a whole lot of these Hot Wheels tracks because I can always come back and trim it down. Once I had each of the sides cut down, then I came back with my hot glue gun and secured the Hot Wheels track to each side of my picture. I started with the top piece of the frame then I moved to the bottom. Next, I moved on to each of the sides. I found that this made it easier for trying to match up those 45 degree angle corners. Look at that. And I have shown so many times of me painting stuff, so I didn't think you needed to see me actually painting the frame. I did go back with a little bit of hot glue and make sure that there was no gaps or anything in the frame itself. And here is the end product. Look at that. Who would have thought that you could make a really fancy picture frame from Dollar Tree Hot Wheels tracks? I really like how this project turned out and I just wanted to bring you a simple project to show you just thinking outside of the box what you can do with things that you find at the Dollar Tree. Thank you.